up, fellas? Your boy Dark Hell coming from the rig, man. What it is, man? It's the morning, man. I just left the TA in Florence. We're in South Carolina, 95 southbound, heading home. Turkey time, baby. Turkey time. We're gonna take next week off. We're gonna make that turkey. I'm probably gonna make a little shorts video of how the turkey looked before and the process and how it came out afterwards. And uh, it's gonna be a good time, fun times. Wishing a happy Thanksgiving to everyone, and uh, may God bless and feed those who are less unfortunate, fortunate than others. God will provide. That's what's up, guys. I want to give you guys an update on the floor. The floor I ordered the floor last week. I did not know it was gonna take so long. The floor that I want, it's kind of like a satin. It's, it's wood. It's a smart core stuff. It's peel and stick. I didn't go with the snap on kind because it's real hard to get these floors flush. So I'm gonna be laying the baseboard down. Plus on the driver's side and the passenger side, there's like a little up part where you have to like glue it down. And when you got, you know, in trucks, unless you get it like real flush, those little snap on, they, they always, you always have little issues. So I went with the peeling stick, it's still hard. You still gotta cut shit. It's not like all flimsy, but it's just peeling stick. It's got the cushion with the peeling stick. So I'm gonna lay down a baseboard and we're gonna put that stuff on and it's gonna look real freaking nice. That's the floor that I want, so I'm gonna wait. The floor that's not available in the low stores. There's a special order. I just didn't think it was gonna take so long. I figured it'd probably be like a week or a couple of days. But when I went and bought it last week, because it's already paid for it, fucking February, the, like February 21st, like the third week of February. So it's a while to that, but it is what it is. I was hoping to get the floor done during the uh, holiday break, but nope, gonna have to wait. But that's what it is. Another thing, guys, I'm gonna be going down to Fort Pierce. This load that I got, I wasn't able to get a load to Fort Pierce. Like I wanted so that I can go check out the T2000, the Kenworth that I'm buying. But uh, it's all good. This load delivers tonight, well, Sunday, 2 a.m., basically tonight, you know, 2 a.m. We're going to deliver this load at the Aldi's in Haines City, Florida. And then uh, I'll park the truck. I'll have the holidays with my family. And then I'll probably head down in my car on Monday to Fort Pierce. Because I want to go, you know, make a little video of the truck, the little Kenworth T2000, before I get my hands on it. And how it looks after I do all the little things I'm doing to that little truck. I'm gonna be renting it out. We running out Maybach, you know what I'm saying? And um, I decided I'm not gonna sell that truck. That truck I'm gonna keep. That's a workhorse. That's a good little truck. That little truck right there has been in the family for two decades. We are gonna keep it in the family. And if I do end up selling the truck, it's gonna it is only one person that I'll um, I'll sell it to, and he is a family member. I ain't gonna put no names out there. They know who they are, but that's what it is. But we're gonna go check out the truck on Monday. You know, take some pictures, make a little videos, and kind of go through well, what I'm gonna be doing to that truck. That truck has a great engine. It has a Cummins M14 red top. Great, great motor. Great motor. And you know, my uncle's doing all the fuel injectors on it and all that on the 3rd of December. So we're gonna be getting that truck ready for this driver. Yeah, I basically wanna go down there and at least get the interior nice. I'm probably gonna paint up that, repaint the dash, and throw a new carpet down and. You know, get it comfortable for the driver. I'm probably gonna wrap the the the, the panel and some vinyl. I, I still got a vinyl wrap in the house, so we're gonna get it done. That's the plans for that. And uh, those T2000s, I don't know why they call them T2 uglies. I mean, those trucks ain't even that ugly. Maybe they call them that because if you know, I guess is there Kenworths. You know, people are used to like the long nose, beautiful Kenworth W900s, and since that's more like a century look, I guess they call them T2 uglies. Because maybe the little round lights are from. I don't think those trucks are that ugly at all. But it is what it is. It's a workhorse. I'm gonna, I, that truck's gonna stay in the family. You know, I'm not selling that truck, and um, you know, and I might end up in the truck. Who knows? But I, you know, I love Maybach. I'm making good money. Maybach got a good relationship with the owners. Got a good relationship with the dispatchers and everything. Tracking, safety. You know, I've been in Maybach for years. But everybody wants to grow. The point is to grow. You don't make like a tree and you know make like a leaf and go you know what i'm saying you want to grow so i see maybach grow and uh, i want to grow too you know my company american chief transport you know what i'm saying i'm trying to eventually be on my own and i'm hoping that by march i think by march i'll be ready to do that i should have a trailer by then and all that and i would like to go out there and work on my own but uh <clears throat> you know the classic the terminator <coughs> this is the truck that maybach gave me it was dying in their yard they gave me this truck with no money down, you know, helped me fix it up and I'm working it off. But uh, like I said, I, I still have the 2000 Century that I sold to my boy Oscar. He runs under American Chief. He's still working at Maybach. So American Chief is in business through there. The Kenworth T2000 is going to be working at Maybach. So I'm going to have two trucks still running with Maybach doing business with my company. 
And um, I don't see why there'll be an issue, but I'm going to be flying up there to, to Chicago to see if I can have a sit down with Maybach. Because I'm going to try to see if I can take the... I don't see what the problem is, I'm, you know, but still, there's always... I'm not going to assume until I talk to him. I'm going to go talk to him, tell him that I want to go work for myself. Have those other two trucks I made back, and I want to take the classic with me to work for myself. Now, if they tell me no, then, you know, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'll probably wait out. I'll probably wait it out and wait till I finish paying off the classic before I go off my own. But I would really like to start in March. We're leaving in God's hands. We'll see what happens. But that's the plan. That is the plan. Guys, listen. When you find a good company, you it's good. You get comfortable and you stay there. Some guys will just retire there. They'll never end up doing their own thing. For me, I like to grow, and I'm very grateful for everything Maybach's done. And like I said, I'm planning to do business with Maybach. I'm not. I'm never gonna stop referring them, even if I end up going on my own. I'm still gonna send drivers there, and I'm hoping to be able to franchise with them. That's the whole point. I'm going over there in February, so that they'll be able to put drivers in the American Chief. You know, and that's that's basically what I'm gonna talk to them about. But we'll see what it is. We'll see what's to come. We're going to leave it in God's hands. And that's what it is, man, fellas. So we're going to head home. Enjoy the holidays. I want to wish all you guys a happy Thanksgiving. And uh, when the floors come in, we'll put the floor in. And uh, that's what it is, fellas. We're going to put a new carpet. I, I, you know, I want to go down this week and get the truck ready for the driver. At least the inside. I want to get the carpet put down. You know, like I said, paint the dash, do a couple of things. So you just get a comfortable for the driver that's going to be driving at Maybach. But... That's what it is, fellas, man. Aside from that, we're doing good, man. I'm over here punch, pump, uh, smoking on my uh, Punch Classical. These are real good little cigars. I really like these. And you, if you guys like cigars, you can get these in the truck stops out here. TAs, Loves, Petros, Flying, you know, Flying Jays. These pilots, these are about eight, nine bucks out here on the road. In your brick and mortar store, they're like six bucks. At Publix, they're like five something. Public supermarket. It's like a branch of supermarkets from the south. But that's what it is, fellas. I'm going to keep on riding, enjoy my cigar, go home, and we're going to watch the New York Giants get nailed by the Bucks. I'm a Giants fan, but I'm a, I, I live in reality. And, you know, so I would love for my Giants to win, but Brady's not going to take two L's. They just got nailed by the Washington Redskins. Well, the Washington team. They took away the Redskins because these fucking Democrats. Oh, that's racist. How is that racist? If anything, you're fucking... If anything, you're fucking... That's like a, a, a compliment to the Redskins. It's horrible what they did to that team, but it is what it is. So uh, I doubt that Brady's going to let himself get nailed twice. And, uh, you know, I'm not a Patriots fan, but I am a Brady fan. you got to acknowledge greatness, and Brady is great. He's the greatest quarterback of all time, in my opinion. I mean, no one, I don't think no one's going to do what he did, at least no time soon. You know, and uh, the man has seven Super Bowls, been there about freaking ten times, and, and he's not done. He's not done. So you got to acknowledge greatness. The Bucks are the football team of my local Oh, well, where I live in Orlando, that's the closest team to us. So I do represent the Bucks as well. But my team is the Giants. And also, we're going to watch the F1 races on Sunday. Formula One racing. If you guys don't know about this, it's kind of like IndyCar. It's not NASCAR. It's, they're, they're like IndyCar, but bigger. It's more of a European sport. America is in there. We have, our, our teams are new. We're probably like on the sixth season, the Haas team. But I, I represent the Red Bull team. My, Max Verstappen, that's my driver. And Checo, the Mexican Bull. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Sergio Perez. Those are the Red Bull drivers. There's only 10 teams in Red Bull. Two cars per team. 20 drivers. In the whole Sorry, a car came in. So I really enjoy some Formula 1 racing. And that's what it is, fellas. So I'll catch you guys after the holidays. And again, I'll try to put up a short video of me doing my turkey. And that's what it is, guys. Stay safe through the holidays. And, you know, that's what it is. If you like the video, thumbs up. If not, thumbs down. It's all good. It's all love. It's your boy, Doc Kelly. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.